Hi Cancer, welcome to this reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, though you might find it resonates more if Cancer is your Moon or Rising Sign. This Nine of Cups feels significant. I did get a glimpse of it with the Three of Swords reversed. So one message that your high, higher self, no, what could be, future self, um, wants you to know is this is going to turn out well, whether it's that you have a new beginning with the person you're interested in, and some of you will, because I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles reversed, which means you have no intention of going anywhere. You're sticking with this connection. For some of you, it might mean that you go in a whole new direction, but either way, you're getting some sort of a new beginning here at some point, you know, within the coming year. And it doesn't have to be a whole year. It could be tomorrow. Anywhere, you know, from tomorrow to a year, there will be a new beginning here and you will get something, a wish, you know, of a wish, something that's very satisfying to you. So your future self wants you to be um, less worried and to hold on to things that are paid for less. Now, that's obviously easier said than done. But if there's a chance for you to do a bit of healing, releasing, your future self is saying, please, please, please do. Because, um, yeah, look, seven of wands reversed. Something really pleasant, really enjoyable um, is coming in for you. Uh, okay, yeah, I keep seeing a distinct message. Some of you will actively choose to move forward and whatever's coming in, it makes you feel very abundant, confident, content within yourself. And for others of you, it's gonna be within this connection with this person because I keep seeing that Knight of Pentacles reversed. You, you're not going anywhere. You don't want to move on to someone else or to anything else. Okay, so let's see, messages from my viewers, future selves, please about this connection. Five of Wands, Page of Pentacles reversed. Don't compete. Wow, I'm getting loads and loads of messages that I'm hearing actually coming through. Don't compete. Whoever is around your person right now, whether it's romantic options, a karmic, family, friends, colleagues, patients I'm hearing for some reason, whoever it is, do not compete. Do not try to offer this precious pentacle that you have while there are other people around. You're not, um, no, your future self is saying, don't make, you know, don't get yourself involved in this. Don't make yourself one of these silly people hitting each other with sticks. You're, you know, you're better than that situation. What you have to offer is so much more special. Yes, it's a page, but maybe this one pentacle is all this page has. Now, that's not me saying you don't have much to offer, but just looking at this card and the meaning of this card, it's saying to me that whatever it is you have that you want to give to this person or you've tried to give to this person is very, very important to you. It's very special to you, whether it's everything, something small, building up, whatever it is, it's really important. It's really special to you. And it is, you know, objectively very special as well. So your future self is saying, don't compete with others. There's no need for you to compete with others. Don't try and get this person you're asking about to notice you in the crowd. Um, okay. Five of Cups reversed, Six of Cups reversed, okay. Something, yeah, something's coming back. We're going from a five to a six, but both reversed. Um, I do wonder if this person is coming around to you. I wonder if some of you have already decided not to compete or not to try and jump up and down to get this person to notice you and you have pulled back and that's going to be when they come forward towards you. Um, if you know that your person has moved on into another connection, maybe they even tried to escape some sort of intensity around this connection between you both by going to someone else, it hasn't worked out. Your future self is saying they will be back around you know, obviously you get to sort of react to that however you want, but I feel they will be back. Um, okay, let's see. Page of Swords reversed. Yep, we have the Tower, so we've got some Scorpio energy there, and we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm also um, getting the message here, your future self is saying something that has been going on and it might still be going on now and it's coming to an end or it's already ended, it wasn't working. Something around the cycles that you were stuck in here, the, the ways things were playing out, maybe it's something to do with the situation, the physical situation, maybe you live too far apart or something like that. But something that's been holding this connection back is shifting, is changing. And I actually don't think it's on your side because the message for you is pull back pull back. You've been giving enough what you're giving, whether, you know, it's a lot or not. You know, when I say not a lot, what I mean is you're actively choosing to take it slower. Not, again, not that you don't have much to give, because I feel like it's very important whatever you're giving. But however much you've been giving, 
Um, I, I don't think it's been getting the recognition and attention that it has deserved and neither have you and your future self is saying pull back because um, A, you deserve better than this and B, once you do, um, well it's not because you're pulling back but in the meantime whatever else this person's been doing or got going on it will end and they will be the one to come back to you so whether they have to move maybe they moved away maybe they're coming back maybe it's a work situation maybe it's other people they've been entertaining whether it's romantic or not um maybe they have deliberately and knowingly at some point pulled away from you invested in something else again romantic or otherwise and it didn't work because they were just running from their problems and the problem was not you the problem was not even the connection it was maybe what the connection was bringing up for them and if it's coming from within them they've just taken that with them haven't they so running didn't help okay so let's go in again and let's see what other messages Ooh, the sun leo something coming in that you don't see yet with the sun reversed got the hermit virgo energy your person could be deep in thought okay what else please messages from my viewers future selves about this connection please about this situation i need to sneeze i don't think it's coming up i think it's going to go away it's reminding me of something someone once said about if you're driving and you need to sneeze need to sneeze and then you pull over to sneeze and i was thinking am i a reckless driver because if i'm driving and i need to sneeze I don't, you know, pull over. I just sort of <laughs> sneeze and get on with it. I, I don't know. I mean, is that I was thinking to myself, I didn't want to say in case she was like, my God, you don't pull over, you know, but I don't. Um, and I didn't think other people did as well. But I don't know why that's coming up. I mean, Six of Swords does make me think of someone getting in a car. Um, I don't know. Just, just something I thought of there. Okay, what else please? Messages for my viewers from their future selves about ooh, this situation. Look at that, the Hierophant in reverse. Yes, whatever it is that's pulling your person's attention away from you or pulling their attention in many different directions is not going to last beyond the year. And as I said, it doesn't even have to be that it takes a whole year. It could be tomorrow, it could be a week. Three of Swords, okay. Right, that makes sense. That message from the start before um, I started pulling cards about um, not holding on to pain. And this can be painful thoughts. Stop investing in painful thoughts because... Um, how can I phrase this in a way that doesn't sound rude? <laughs> they are not valuable. They're not relevant. They're not worthy. Because you might be thinking, for example, this person doesn't want what I'm offering. They haven't wanted it. They're never going to take it. That's not true. Maybe they wanted it, but because of the hierophant, they were in some kind of contract that they couldn't take it. Thinking they'll never take it. That's not true, because whatever this contract contracted situation is, is ending. So it's almost like don't your future self is saying, don't invest your time in these painful future thoughts, because um, they won't actually come to anything. And it's just making you feel sad now. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune, things moving forward, divine intervention. We have Sagittarius energy here. Yeah, and this is so, so interesting because these four cards keep seeming to be about what's going on now. And then we get to these four and it's about the future. Look, we've got the tower, something that's sudden and, and changing. We've got the Wheel of Fortune moving forward. So there will be a reconnection here, but it's not going to be like the past. Something from the past had to die. Something had to end. A way of doing things or a particular place this was stuck in. Um, oh, what came through? Something just came through. The past is coming. They're coming. Oh, yes. It doesn't, you know, it's not to say you have to be in a separation. You could be seeing each other every day, talking every day. But there is still going to be a change in how you're interacting or the situation around this connection. So, <laughs> look, five to the six to the seven of cups. That's so funny. OK, and that will open up potential here. So you're going to have far more options. Your future self is saying that appear between now and a year's time, whenever you're watching this, than you have now. And again, it's something about timing. It's something about events that have to happen. A divine intervention something like that and that's why it's best to pull back because you can give and give and give and give but it's like you know 
I don't know, throwing something at a wall or a statue, this person's never gonna catch it in this current situation, but just give it a minute for things to shift and then what you're giving will be received and seen and valued and appreciated. Um, okay, look at this, I'm telling you, yeah, something about a car, the chariot also makes me think of traveling in a car. Um, cancer energy here. I mean, I'm not saying someone's literally driving and sneezing. I mean, maybe, but you know, um, something about traveling in a car, most likely, um, towards you. Um, cars coming up twice could be a thing in this connection. Um, the chariot follows the star. So this is, you know, your person here is saying, I'm coming back towards you because, um, you know, I tried, I tried to pull away, I tried to run from this, I thought it would give, you know, bring me peace, I thought I could invest in something else, and they really may have given a lot to something else. Again, marriage, um, work, um, a religious organisation, whatever it is, um, an institution, you know, educational institution, something like that, but they haven't been able to leave you behind, and in fact they feel that they're continually drawn back to you. And they're coming back within, you know, um, between now and a year's time with much more conviction and confidence than they had before. Um, so maybe before they were worried what people would say, now it's almost like I don't care what people say because I have experienced going in the wrong direction here and that was so painful that people can say whatever they like. Okay, let's see what else. Messages from your future self. The fall, yes. Oh my goodness, with the seven of wands again. Don't don't be. Um, try as much as you can to be relaxed about the feelings you have, because sometimes you know uh, people will write to me and they'll say, um, like if they're booking a reading, they'll say, should I just move on because I have these feelings and nothing's happening and. Um, I'm getting, you know, I keep trying to move on, I can't, and then that just exacerbates the feeling of stress and pain, which, you know, I get it, I get it. And depending on what the reading says, sometimes yes, sometimes no, but here I feel like the message is you don't have to fight the feelings that you have. You can ease into them, you can allow them to just be, you don't have to really invest in them and, and you know, dig them up and assess them every day, but they can just be. You don't have to keep fighting them or pushing them away. And if you want to fantasize and daydream and imagine, you know, or oh, imagine if this happened, imagine if that happened, imagine if we moved in and, and did this or they reached out and said that, you know, it's safe to do those things because there is a new opportunity coming in. We have Aquarius and we have um, Aries here with the four. Okay. Let's see what else. <gasps> Ooh, Ace of Pentacles, yeah. And it's a tangible opportunity. It's grounded. As I said, your person's energy now is so much more um, strong, confident than it was before. Maybe before they were very wishy-washy. They were waiting for you to keep initiating and, and putting in the effort. Essentially, I feel very unattractive energy and maybe that's me picking up on how you're feeling. You know, it's almost like if you want something, go for it. That's what's attractive and they weren't doing this with you um, for whatever, whatever their reason was, but now they're in that energy and, you know, you're offering a pentacle while well, you were you know, you might still be, or, or maybe you've just pulled right back, depending on your situation, and they are offering the same. So now you're, you know, meeting on the same level. And that's exactly what your future self is saying right now. They're just not, they're not in this. Mm, I don't want to say they're not on your level or they're not good enough, because I'm not judging them, but there's something about their situation that isn't good enough for what you're offering. Um, but there will be a change. Okay. Oh. What else, please? Messages for my viewers from their future selves. Yeah, it's, there's just a real feeling of your future self saying, if I knew then what I know now, which is the purpose of this reading, I wouldn't have stressed so much. I wouldn't have tried to, to give this offer so much. I would have waited um, and just relaxed into this, allowed things to happen and then given and then received. Um, Okay. 
Eight of, wow, eight of pentacles reversed, eight of wands reversed. So eight, double eight could be important. Um, also obviously the infinity symbol. Um, okay, eight of wands reversed and we have death. More Scorpio here. So yeah, some of you will decide to move on from this. Um, others of you will decide to move forward within this connection in a new way. I keep seeing that in a new way. Um, if you're in the group of people who decide, I'm happy now to just move on and leave this behind, um, I do think you will still get some sort of um, conversation, communication, a feeling of actually closure here. Even if you're not looking for it, I think you will receive that. Um, okay, so... I'm going to go in with a different deck, but I think essentially the message is clear. It's the same message that keeps coming through. Um, don't feel you need to force anything. Things will change. Divine intervention on your person's side. They will come back with renewed conviction um, and it will be 50-50. It's not just going to be you having to push, push, push. You know, you're not going to be a, the only one showing any strength going for what you want. They will as well. Two of Wands reversed, yeah, doing, moving forward, taking that leap of faith, doing something in a way that hasn't been done before. So maybe, as I said, for example, you've not seen your person have this much um, courage before or they've, they haven't been this focused on you before or something like that. Okay, any final messages, please, for my viewers from their future selves about this connection? I feel like something's trying to cut, come through clairaudiently and I can't pick it up. What is it? I'm seeing a white rose, so that could be important to someone, but you know, maybe I just, before I close my eyes there, I looked at the fool who's holding a white rose. I don't know. Um, I don't know. If that message comes through, I'll let you know. Okay, three of wands, we have the devil reversed, Capricorn. Nine of coins reversed, three of coins reversed, and we've got the star reversed on the back. So for this, I'm hearing that even if your person was to come forward now, you wouldn't want them in the way that they are. So maybe if you're honest with yourself, you know, it's like, well, I'd love to hear from them, but only if they've changed, because if they show up how they were before, I would be disappointed. Things wouldn't move forward. So I feel that your future self is almost asking you right now to really be honest with yourself in terms of what your priorities are. I, is your priority just to reconnect no matter what the situation, which, you know, and there's no right or wrong here. It's, it's personal, you know, preference and depends on your situation. So maybe you just want to reconnect and sort it out from there together. Maybe you're saying, no, I'm in a good place. I don't want to be destabilized. I want to reconnect, but once my person is also in a good place as well, maybe it's, yes, I want to reconnect, but I'm focusing on self first, or I'm working through some of my own lower vibrational things, or they are, or I want to reconnect when there's no more codependency, you know, whatever it is, your future self is turning back on you now to ask a question, you know, what are your priorities here? Um, are you okay with it taking some time if you get this this and this or do those things not matter do you want it to just happen now and that's not your you, you know your future self isn't asking you that to say that will necessarily change how this is unfolding but almost to bring you perhaps a sense of peace and clarity through asking yourself these questions so if you're saying wow you know i really thought i just wanted them to reach out to me today but if i'm really truly honest i would rather it takes a week or a month if when they do reach out things will be different or they will show this um, conviction, they will show this strength and this, you know, have this forward momentum. Um, and then that will make you feel sort of better about, you know, not hearing from them today or tomorrow, that sort of thing. Okay, so I have a couple of Oracle decks here that could, I think, help as well. So let's see. Okay, so messages please for my viewers from their future selves about this connection, about this situation. I'm, I'm hearing now, um, would you rather they come back right now today or would you rather they come back without the karmic? So I don't know, <laughs> you know, I mean, I think probably the answer there is obvious, but... Yeah, I don't know. That could be an indication for, for some of you that um, when this person does come forward, they will be single. There won't be a karmic, whether we're talking karmic like a spouse, karmic like a really toxic 
but influential friend or something like that. Okay, let's see. We have, um, oh wow, I let go of control. Yes, and surrender my expectations of love to beautiful synchronicity. I've never seen this card before in this deck at least that I remember. So there we go. Yes, your future self is saying just just release control. It doesn't mean you have to release boundaries, um, hopes, beliefs, whatever, but, but literally the physical act of trying to give, whether it's communication, an offer, trying to see them, whatever it is, um, it's like knocking on the door of a house because you think they're in, but they're not. So you're knocking and knocking and then you realise, oh, they're actually coming back on Tuesday. If I'd have known, I'd have just come back on Tuesday or Wednesday. You know, it's that kind of a thing. Something about timing here. Um, and how will you know it's the right time? Because I think they will make the approach to you first. Um, yeah, so look, so giving giving up some control here to synchronicity because there will be synchronicities with that will of fortune um it's not that you're just giving up and letting go and that's it goodbye unless you choose is what i'm seeing okay i remove any illusion that holds that hides the truth the answers are before me and that makes me think about your future self turning to you and saying what are your priorities here my mind creates a reflection of my physical world i am at peace this card confuses me my mind creates a reflection of my physical world. See, normally I'm sure we'd hear something or read something like my physical world is a reflection of my mind. So I don't know. I can't even sort of give an interpretation of what I think this means because I honestly don't understand this message. Um, my mind creates a reflection of my physical world. I am at peace. I mean, yeah, be at peace. That's definitely a message that came through from your future self. But as for the rest of it, you know, perhaps you have a better sense of what that, that message is meaning than I do. Okay, and to finish, let's get a message or two from the Affirmators deck. Okay, final messages, please, for my viewers from their future selves. Oh, wow. Power. I am strong. I am grounded. I am powerful. I am like a cross between a dinosaur and a tank, but not a tank that is used for war. I am like a peaceful, loving dino tank who feels so strong it doesn't need to do anything but be. Are you kidding? Exactly. Just be. Tankaborus. <laughs> um, just be. Yeah. And just being doesn't mean you have to release and let down, you know, your what you feel you deserve and your expectations and hopes. But um, yeah, you don't need to, to be this tank driving forward, crashing through walls. There's there's no need. Um, again, a tank, something about moving vehicles and cars. OK, let's get one more. another car are you kidding what is going on good things to come yes and your future self is saying there are good things to come okay there are so many amazing gifts coming my way i can't see them now because i respect the general convention of not peeking under the wrapping paper yes um will of fortune it's not going to let you peek but they will show up when the time is just right and that's when i'll remember how much fun it is to be surprised yes wow Okay, there we go. So I'm not going to clarify because we know what that message is about. But um, yeah, your future selves have very clear messages for you. Um, and also, I suppose, a heads up that there is good changes. There are. There is a good change. There are good changes to come here. Um, and please let me know what this is about cars. And yeah, just cars, really. Um, and if sneezing in cars means anything, and also if you actually pull over when you sneeze, because I think depending where you're driving, that could be more dangerous than just doing the quick sneeze um, and getting on with it. But yeah, anyway, so I will leave this here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope it helped and I'll see you soon. Bye.